Hi everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make a card for a good friend of mine and she just gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl and I want to send her something and of course a handmade card. So I have a vague idea of what I want so I got all kinds of ribbons and stuff out <laughs> but I'm gonna use that later on. I want to use this set, it's delicate details from Stamping Up and it's a free set from the celebration and um, I really love this set. So I've got this and I've got this card, so this is gonna be the base. I'm just gonna fold it, so this card is 10 and a half by 15 centimeters. And then I cut this to size to nine by 13 and a half centimeters. So I still have some room for some pink, but I don't know which color pink I'm gonna use yet. So I've got these colors, some of my favorite colors and um, I think I want to, uh, yeah, <laughs> use this from, for the bottom part and then emboss the top part and put a ribbon around it or something. I don't know. So let's just get start stamping. So I've got this piece of paper and um, well, I'm just gonna start with This one. <laughs> so these lines are really handy on this acrylic block because you can see that's a bit straight. Um, I'm gonna start with a dark one. This is Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just gonna ink this up. <laughs> and see if I can put this on the paper as straight as possible. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. wipe it clean because I think I'm gonna use this one again but I'm not sure so then I want blushing bright um, it really doesn't matter what you use actually <laughs> they're all nice lighter um, <laughs> I like it it's not 100% straight but then you see that it's handmade that's always a good excuse <laughs> um, maybe I'll just leave them open because I, I'm not sure which color I'm gonna use again so um but it's this pretty pink pink period. I think I'm gonna use the light one. Pink pirouette. And um oh, the next one. So this one is also really light. So ink it up real good. I love this. Set. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait. It's bent a bit. And I really don't like it. So I'm just going to turn it around and do it all again. <laughs> because I only need half of it, so I can do it again. best to line it up a bit with the first one but I think it's pretty nice so I'm just gonna clean this up and I'll get back to you okay for the next part I'll need my big shots because I want to emboss the top half with polka dots I love polka dots so I'm just gonna put this in here make sure it's straight And here we go. Let's see if it works. 
marked. Oh, pretty. Guys, I love polka dots. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Uh, and how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this to size just above where I stamped it. And then this one. I can put these two together and it's okay if it's not really straight because I want to put something over here hmm but I wanted to put it on here I'll figure it out so I just cut this stripe because on here I want to stamp her name and I already saw pictures and it's such a cute little baby she's so sweet and her name is so cute as well So it's a J. These are really nice stamps. I bought these years ago, but you can click them together. So oh, I need those two. So you know that your stamps are always even. Your letters are in a straight line and they have the same space between them. So I really love these because I'm really not very good at stamping names and words with the loose alphabet letters. Julianne, but she's German, so I think it's gonna be Julian. I don't know, I'll just call her Julianne for now. So I have to stamp this on here, but there's a little, uh, little stripe in the middle. I don't know the correct word for that. <laughs> um, I think I need a new knife on my cutting board. So, no pressure, but this has to go right in one go. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna try it out first. Okay. Ooh, now I don't know if I... Oh well, this is a bit of a gamble. Phew, it turned out okay. I didn't know how far I had to go from the edge, but but um, I need to put the little stripe in the middle. So this is flirty flamingo. about the stamping up inks and paper they all correspond with each other correspond is that the right word <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I have to do it like this so guys you know what's going to happen of course I need to sponge this <laughs> but will I use flirty flamingo I think I'm gonna use the blushing bright Stand out just a little bit. Okay, so I think I want flirty flamingo uh, under here because that's the color that stands out the most. So that's this one. Or does that just fade away in the background now? So I can try, what was it, blushing bright? Okay, so this is Flirty Flamingo and this is Blushing Bright. Phew! Um, <laughs> that's a tough one. I think I'll, this one is sweet, but I think I like this one if I sponge all the edges. Oh, 
or I can sponge it with Blushing Bright. Now I really, really don't know. I think this one is sweeter. I'm going for the Blushing Bright. So that means I need another sponge, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna cut this one. And I've got a new sponge. A bit smaller though. So. And this one. Ooh. Let's see if that's okay. Yeah. Tape. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So let's see. This one. But I have to do that straight. Okay, nice. So now I need my cutting board again. And I hope you can see this. Um, I've got this stripe, this is a sticker, and I'm just gonna put this edge alongside with that edge. edge. Sorry guys, I can't see it. <laughs> it's a bit too dark. Hope that's straight. And do it again over here. Oh, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna put this on this card. That's so cute. So now I want something over here, maybe a little bling. So I need this thing again. I've got these things. Ooh, that's really the wrong color. <laughs> oh, I also have this. Bought these for 39 cents each at the Vibra. this one. Wait. These are cute as well. But I like those better. So. <laughs> okay. Um, but I think I'm going to do that when it's finished. First I want some, some ribbon. So I've got this ribbon. Mwah. I've got some of this. I have this, but I think this is too pink. You also have trouble finding the beginning of these things. I use, oh wait, there's a bit of tape over here. <laughs> and now it's gone. Ah, here it is. That's also not really the right color. I think it's gonna be this one, but it's so big. Oh, but it is pretty. I think this is the best one because this color is a bit more salmon than... Hmm. Again, guys, I wish you could give me advice. <laughs> this one is really cute as well. This one goes away. This one goes away. So I can use this or just a bit of... Really sure, and then this. Okay, uh, if I do this one, let's just see. I'm just gonna put it over here, a bit higher. Tape. 
I'm just gonna try this. So I've got a bit of tape over here. Oh, that's cute. Should have been lower. Just a little bit though. Oh well. So fits. Yeah, that's better. Perfect. So now I can put it on the card. I'm gonna do something over here as well, but I need to get to stick on the card first. So. And again, guys, shall I sponge the edge? Yes, I shall. Of course. I need the sponge. <laughs> I'm gonna sponge the edge of the card. It's too, it's too white if I don't. So here we go again. Just a little, little accent. So I think that's enough. Oh, it's really pink. <laughs> so now I need to get this in the middle. Oh, that's really cute. And this is just a bit too small. What I want to do is put this <laughs> under this bit and just tie a knot, just like that. I always think that looks a bit like a cute bow and it's way more easy. Oh, that looks so cute. So now just for these little bling bling thingies. Really huge though. I want to stick out. Come on. Ta da! I think it's really sweet. I really love it. Um, I am tempted though to put another one over here. <laughs> nah. Okay, leave it like this. This is really cute, although these are really huge, but okay, that's cute. Just leave it like this. So it's gonna go into a little box, so uh, it won't break in the in the in the mail. So it can be a bit bigger. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you love my card as much as I do. I really think it's so sweet. It's just as sweet as her name, Julianne. It's such a cute name, or in German probably Julian. <laughs> I'm not sure. I hope the proud mom and dad will love this card. I made it with uh, with love for them. And uh, well, I hope you liked it too. And if you wanted to see more of my videos, then hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Which is from Holland. Bye.